My name is Dion Skinner and I work at the Writing Center. My name is uh, Aaron Olasco. I'm currently a student at CSUN. So I'm studying electrical engineering, uh, but I started at Valley College. My name is Amber Angel, and I am a former student from Los Angeles Valley College. I'm Angelique Domville, and I'm going to be talking about my community college experience. My name is David Diaz. I'm a student here at Los Angeles Valley College. I now currently serve as a program coordinator at the Family Resource Center. I'm from New York City, but I've also lived in Atlanta, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida, and now finally Los Angeles, California. Part of me had no idea about college or what was required. This is my story. It all began in Newark, New Jersey, the same place Red Man's from. Growing up in a very urban area like Pacoima, it was very difficult to find uh, a teacher that uh, would believe in you. When I first got to community college, I felt like I was really cocky. Uh, my whole life I've been told that I was this intelligent, prestigious girl. And deep down, like I felt like I was kind of like a mediocre student. I was born to a single mother. Despite all of the statistics put against me, I was able to strive through learning how to love learning, if you will. There were times where I had to kind of, you know, retake classes or I wasn't able to get the class that I needed. My family is in the middle of 13 children and I'm the first in my entire family to go to college. When I started at elementary school, I was left back because I was illiterate. So pretty much the third grade, I couldn't really read. I liked to write, but I really didn't know how to work with words. I can honestly say, at first glance, a teacher would already know, this kid's not gonna do anything that great. I saw that that was my identity, and I, and I totally just walked into that, and from there I became, I mean, I was like a troublemaker. I also had a minor speech impediment as a kid, too. People used to say that, I sang when I talk. I was a transplant to Los Angeles, so I came here and knew no one, low income, and I had a two-year-old daughter. Intelligence is not something that you're born with, it's something that you have to work on. Uh, I overcome some hardships. If you're always told that there's something you can't do, eventually you're going to believe that what all these people are telling you is true. I got into poetry because I thought it was like regular writing except without punctuation. It takes one person to make a difference in someone's life. It was really hard to find a teacher that would uh, inspire me or that would make me feel just that I can do more than just show up and not cause problems. Once I discovered poetry and like rhythmic scale, I started reading more and through reading more my grades started to go up. I would get in trouble, I would get in fights, I would get kicked out of school. After moving or getting out of my first school, I dropped out and I started working and I was just working. I moved to California in the summer of 2011 to pursue higher education. I started attending Los Angeles Valley College. The class that I took at Valley was a, with a teacher that was really focused on pedagogy, really focused on this education system, really focused on mindsets. So he had us reading Pedagogy of the Oppressed, he had us reading Carol Dweck's um, Mindset. Community college is a community-oriented thing. You cannot survive in this school system without the assistance and the help of your, your professors, of your um, tutoring labs, and the people around you. I wasn't too good at certain classes, so I actually seeked help, and I started coming to the Writing Center at least once a week twice a week. I was informed about a program called TRIO and with TRIO I was able to get an academic counselor to kind of help me navigate and figure out what it was I wanted to do. There's a professor who teaches physics here, uh, Haley. If you're in his class he, he'll be emailing you any information he knows on internships, on jobs. Fail your way to the top. And also it's all about study, how you manage your time. Any of these classes are possible. You can get an A in every class that you want to. It's just up to you. Do you want to get an A? The environment at Valley College is, is more like um, I'm going to show you the steps you can take to get through it and there's all these resources that you can tap into to make sure you get through it. Through the Writing Center I really discovered the English language and how to use it. They're invested in you succeeding, you just really have to apply yourself. Take advantage of all the resources that are available to you 
really finding a group of people that will be on this path with you. I think having social capital and feeling like you're not alone here is really important and I think Valley College does an incredible job of bringing like-minded students together. There are so many clubs that you can enter in the ASU. It really did impact me.